Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I am calling all my menopausal women to listen up. If you are struggling losing weight through the menopause experience and beyond, those are the postmenopausal women. I hear you. I know you're lo you're struggling with getting those extra weight off. This video is for you. So if you're new to my channel, I just want to say welcome. I am a woman on a mission to overturn the metabolic damage that this world is experiencing right now. So if you're new, just hit the subscribe button and notification bell. I'm super happy you're here. Menopausal women, let me talk to you about how you lose weight. Here's the first thing to know. When you go through menopause, as estrogen declines, you become more insulin resistant. So it's that downward spiral of estrogen that causes insulin resistance, which is why your old diet that you did at 35 and 25 stops working. Your old tricks stop working. You had estrogen at 35, you had estrogen at 25, you don't have that same estrogen level at 45, 55, 65. So we've got to change your lifestyle, especially around insulin and make you insulin sensitive again. So that's the first thing. Second thing, it's kind of the sucky part of menopause is that we get a toxic dump. So when we get a toxic dump, when our hormones after 40 go up and down, all those toxins that have been stored in our tissues, stored in our bones, all the heavy metals, the lead, the mercury, the thallium, thallium's what causes the hair to fall out, um, all of the aluminum, those come out of our tissues and they go up into our brain and they start to affect our moods, right? They start to affect how we think, and then the body, because it's so brilliant, what it does is it stores these new toxins that have been released into your bloodstream as fat. So when we look at unwinding the menopausal weight, we've got to look at making you insulin sensitive and look at detox. And here's how this looks. Let's start with the quick fix. The absolute quick fix right now, today, is to start to apply the principles of the ketogenic diet. I want you to go into the lower carb, I want, ideally for a menopausal woman who's like trying to lose weight, keeping your carbs around 50 grams net carbs is a great place to start and make sure that your, car, that your carbs are coming from nature's carbs. So we want them to come from Think carbs that come out of the earth, not carbs that come out of, of, of a food facility. So the processed carbs, even if they're low calorie, if they're low fat, you might have been doing that for years, those are the things that are causing you to be insulin resistant right now. So the quick fix is bring the carbs down and make sure that they're coming from nature's carbs. Okay, the second quick fix is fasting. So I teach fasting variation here. I teach six different levels of fasting, everything from 13 hours to 72 hours. Go watch the videos I've done on the six variations of fasting. But fasting for menopausal, postmenopausal women, it is like, it's like the golden ticket. So if you haven't tried fasting and you're in your menopausal years, now's the time. So go back to learning how to build a fasting lifestyle. Okay, now let's talk about long-term. What do you do long-term? So the short-term is fasting and low-carb ketogenic style eating. The long-term I put in the menopause reset. So this book, you can get it on Amazon right now. What was really interesting is you all asked me for this to write this book, so I wrote it and so many of you benefited from it. Thank you if you've read it and enjoyed it. Appreciate you um, and, and tell, put it in the comments below because we are a community here. But here's what I did in this book, is I put five lifestyle changes that every woman after 40 should do. And I'm gonna run through those five right now. I already gave you one. You should start fasting. Second, you should learn how to vary and cycle your food choices. Third, you gotta think about your microbiome. So if you've been on antibiotics, you've been on birth control a lot during your life, when you go into menopause, you have a whole set of bacteria called the estrobilome that breaks estrogen down. So if that's destroyed, you might be making the age appropriate estrogen, 
but you're not breaking it down. So we've got to go back and feed our, our estrobilome. I talk about how to do that in this book. Fourth principle, the toxins you're putting on your face, the toxins you're putting on your body, your beauty products, the toxins in your house, the toxins stored in your body, those are causing you to gain weight. Time to detoxify. Absolute. Now, as you go through menopause or you're in postmenopausal years, detox becomes more important than any other time in your life. And then the fifth one is what uh, Libby Weaver calls, Dr. Libby Weaver calls the rushing woman syndrome. I didn't label that, but I sure resonate with it. We've got to start to look at our stress loads. And I'll give you one other bonus one I've been thinking a lot about that isn't in the book, which is working on your bringing your circadian rhythm back. So make sure that you're out in the sun, that you're seeing the sunlight midday, you're getting up and seeing a sunrise and sunset because these blue lights that are showing up and that we're in all day long will also throw off your hormones and you become more vulnerable to those during menopause. Now, here's what's really interesting. What do you do if you're listening to this and you're 60 years old and you're like, okay, well, I did all that wrong. Well, this is why uh, these principles are so important for women, is that it's not too late to go back and change your lifestyle. When you put the five principles that I put in this book into action, even at 65, you regulate estrogen, you regulate progesterone and testosterone, you bring balance back to your hormones. So it's not too late to start to drop weight. We've just got to go back and redo your lifestyle. And that is, would be my absolute number one recommendation. Now, if you are 40 and you're like, okay, I don't, I don't want that weight gain help now, Put these into action right now. I feel like this is the book that every 40 year old woman should be handed so that she understands what's coming down the pipeline for her with her hormones. And I made it short and easy to read and simple to apply. So if you're 40, make sure you still have a cycle or you're perimenopausal and your cycle's like 60, 90 days apart, make sure that you're applying these five principles. Last thing. There are, if you are listening to this and you're like, I've done all that, Dr. Mindy, I've done it all, and it's not working, now is the time for a Dutch test. I just did a Dutch test on myself this morning. I do one on myself every year. It is the best hormone test that will show you what you need to work on so you can finally drop that weight. But if you are 55, 60, whatever your age, and you're at the end of menopause and you're so frustrated, do not give up on yourself. You are not meant to gain weight. That, that is a myth. You are not meant to gain weight through menopause. If you love that video and you want to dive into more of the information I have on this channel, go to this video. If you're trying to use fasting as a tool for weight loss, congratulations. It literally is the best tool I have ever seen for weight loss. I think you should start with fasting before you change your food.